Okay, so now we've got our natural eye makeup look as a basis for a more fancy one. And this is good for like a party or a really like a nice date or just something. It's pretty striking, so maybe like a dance. It's good for those sort of situations, but I wouldn't wear it to school if I were you because it's kind of intense. Alright, let's get started. This is what you're going to need for today. We've got our dark and light eyeshadow, mascara, our sharp eyeliner, our magical makeup q-tip, and some cream eyeshadow. This is Revlon Illuminance Cream Shadow, and it's in the shades of purple. That complements my skin tone, but you can just do a quick Google search and see what kind of makeup works best for your skin tone. Okay, to start out, we're going to go pretty heavy on the bottom lid. It makes you look a little perkier and pretty awake, which is a good thing if you're really tired like I am. So we're just putting a little thin line going all the way down like this. You're going to want to smudge it up here so it doesn't look retarded. Here you go. There you go. And you're going to use a little bit on the top lid, but not much. Just on the little right here. Make it come down and connect. It's sort of an Egyptian look and it makes your eyes look pretty big. Next we're going to use our shadow again. We're going to use quite a bit more than we did in the natural makeup tutorial. It just makes them really shiny. Which is always fun. Glitter is fun. Now we're going to use our cream shadow. If I can open it. Alright. And I'm going to use a pretty dark purple here because I want it to really stand out. And just get a little bit on your pointy q tip. Go like this. So you're outlining from like here to here. In the, eye sh in the cream shadow. And I'm going to use a little bit of some lighter colors too to blend it in. And another dark color. And it looks like that. Now that looks kind of weird. So you blend it in with the other end of your pointy q-tip. And finally some mascara. We're going to use some pretty heavy duty mascara. Just scrape off well, most of it, but you don't want like huge glops in your eyes. We're going to start from the bottom and work our way to the tips. If you have pretty straight eyelashes, I recommend an eyelash curler. It looks like a torture instrument, but it's actually really good and it works really well. I don't have to use it, but I've tried it and it makes your eyelashes go like whoop. I'm going to use a little mascara on the bottom lid too, so it makes me look more awake because I'm really tired right now. And there I'm just touching it on. I'm actually going to smudge it a little because that looks kind of weird. But, there we go. Now, I'm not going to bother doing my other eye because I'm just going to wash this right off afterwards. But, that's it for eyes and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Alright, see you later. Bye.